All right, uh, welcome to Shabu to Uganda e-learning, and uh, my name is Nelson. Uh, we are going to make a continuation of uh, some of the questions uh, about uh, subsets, uh, because uh, we saw there are very many tricks that they always ask uh, when it concerns to these questions. So let's uh, go uh, right away to uh, these questions. Uh, let's go right away to these questions okay uh, this is our question uh, they are saying find the number of subsets if part a will have the number of uh, subsets uh, they are already given and b is uh, n um, our set number of uh, element in our set m is equal to three also the number of uh, our set p there are four <coughs> as they are given so here we just only need to uh, be knowing the formula. Uh, let me get a pen here. Uh, we just only need to be knowing the what? Uh, the formula. Uh, we say using uh, using shall be using what? Using our formula. Who can remind us our formula? Uh, 2 to the power n. Uh, where n is the number of what number of uh, number of elements okay so uh, here we've been given the number of what the number of elements so we shall just only need to uh, use the formula then to calculate so here if we have the number of elements as two that means uh, using our formula which is n to power two then our two here is going to be power two uh, to two uh, we are here we are going to be having our two uh, times two two times so here we shall be able to get our uh, four sub what four sub set okay we shall be able to get our four what our four subset uh, then also here when we insert our formula which is two to the power n uh, then that means the number of uh, the number of elements in our set m uh, shall be equal to 3 so this is the same as uh, 3 to the power I mean this is the same as 2 to the power 3 uh, 2 to power 3 uh, is the same as uh, uh, 2 uh, times 2 that is 3 times ok uh, so here I shall be able to get uh, what is 2 times 2 uh, 2 times 2, 2 times 2, which is 4 times 2, uh, we shall get 8, uh, sub what, sub set, okay, uh, so also here we shall be having our 2 to power what, our 2 power what, our 2 power 4, the same as 2 times 2, uh, times 2 that is going to be for what uh, 4 times which is going to be mm, times here it was times 2 uh, they should be uh, <coughs> 4 times ok so this is the 4 times 4 we shall get 16 as our what as our subsets ok be able to put in our subsets uh, such that your answer should not remain hanging <coughs> also this is going to be our 2 to power 5 uh, our 2 power 5 is going to be 2 times 2 uh, that is 5 times times 2 Uh, times 2 times times 2 5 times yes uh, that is 2 times 2 uh, then 2 times 2 that is uh, our 16 times what times 2 uh, we shall be able to get our answer here as uh, what is uh, 16 times 2 that is 30 what uh, 32 uh, this is going to be what uh, subsets okay 32 what 32 subsets 
Uh, then also we have uh, another one which is um, the number part E. Uh, we have the number of elements in Q. In Q there, uh, they are 1, which is mean 2 to power what? Power 1. And this is going to be equal to our 2. Okay? They are going to be 2 what? 2 subsets. So we said uh, any number power 1 is uh, that number. Also, this is going to be uh, 2 power 0. Uh, 2 power 0 is the same as uh, 1. So here we are applying uh, the mathematical concept uh, that any number which is powered to 1 uh, remains uh, that number. Then any number power 0 is 1. So that means in our uh, part F, uh, the number of subset is only 1. Uh, let's proceed also to another question, which is uh, question 9. Here in question 9, you can see they have been able to draw for us our set, uh, because there uh, in our recent video, we've been looking at the number of uh, the number of intersection set, uh, the union set, uh, we have been uh, able to see and know and understand how we can uh, get the number of intersection sets, the union of sets, uh, the complement of sets, and also uh, the uh, the number of elements of a set if it is only all right in that way. So you can see here they are now trying to bring all those concepts. They are brought for your set, so they want you now to extract and use uh, your knowledge of uh, the intersection set, uh, the union of sets, uh, the number, of, finding the number of uh, the number of sets. I mean the number of elements in a particular set. So that's what we are going to use. Uh, so you can see in our question here, they were saying find the number of subset in uh, Roman numeral one P intersection Q. I uh, remember we have been given this set where our set P is having uh, is having elements. Uh, those that are in the intersection and those that are in the union okay so uh, here they want uh, the number of p intersection q so we said that for us to get an intersection uh, those are the members that are shared uh, between uh, both sets or the members that are overlapping in all the sets so you can see our intersection part is here so we shall just only need to know how many are they so we shall just say our P intersection Q uh, are equal to these members, okay? We have our A here, uh, we have a B inside, and we have a C inside. So we shall also need to know the number of, uh, the number of P, intersection, uh, P intersection Q we need to know the number of p intersection q we said we just only need to know how many are they so there are three so that means now to get the subset of this we should be able to use again our formula where our two power n where n is the number of what number of <coughs> element in p intersection q so here we are going to get our two to power what Power three, which is the same as two, uh, which is the same as, uh, which is the same as two uh, times uh, two three times, okay? Times two three times. Uh, where we are going to get eight what? Eight, uh, eight sub set. <coughs> we are going to get eight what? Eight sub set. Okay, uh, so we can also find out uh, the members, uh, all the subsets that are in P. Okay, they want the subsets in what? In P. Uh, so can we first list out the members in P? Uh, the members in P, we are having our A, B, C. P passes from here according to our, our set here. It passes from here as you're seeing. From here, so all these members, uh, a, a, B, then uh, D, H, they are part of P. So here we just only need to count them uh, for us to get the number of uh, elements in our P, 
is equal to, uh, can we count them? We have our A, first element, second element, the third element, the fourth, up to fifth. So uh, here we can see we have five what? Five element. So that means this is going to be two to the power n is going to be equal to two to power five, okay? So we said this is the same as uh, two, uh, five what? Uh, five uh, times, okay? Same as two times, uh, uh, two uh, times two uh, times times two times two five what? Uh, five times, okay? So we should be able to get uh, our answer. Okay, uh, so that is uh, 16 times what? 16 times, uh, this is 4, uh, this is also 4, uh, that is 16 times 2, which is 32. Uh, uh, these are going to be what? These are going to be subsets. Also, when you look at our other set, which is given, that is P uh, union what? P union Q, our P union Q, let's also find that. P union Q. So uh, we say to get a union of a set, uh, we have to take all the members uh, without repeating any of these members. So that means here we are going to get our P union Q. P union Q. Uh, then we get the number of P union. Uh, P union Q. How many are they? So here we just only need now to come and count. You can first state them here. You state all of them for you not to uh, get confused. You can state them and put list them all here. Uh, but for me, I'm not going to list them. Okay, I'm going to just only uh, come here and see how many are they. I uh, have the first element, second, third, uh, fourth, uh, fifth, uh, six. Uh, that is the eighth, uh, ninth. So uh, the number of uh, P union Q, they are 9. So that means using our formula, uh, this is going to be 2 to power what? 2 to power 9 is going to be equal to, uh, then 2 uh, times, uh, those are going to be 9 times. So using your calculator, uh, you'll be able to complete out this as your assignment. And uh, you'll be able to put it on our Google what? Our Google Classroom. Thank you very much uh, for being part of this. Uh, please uh, hope uh, you have been able to move at the same uh, pace or all of us at the same time and understanding this. Please be able to check out on our playlist uh, for you to get some more upcoming lessons and subscribe All right, to get uh, some new content. God bless you. Be blessed.